Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern of this crochet sunflower. Now this flower pattern is really very easy and beginner friendly. And you can use this flower as an applique and attach them to your crochet projects. You can even use them as crochet earrings. I think it will look really very pretty and beautiful. So let's see the supplies that you'd require. Now for this pattern here, you can use any weight yarn that you have at hand. You, you just have to use the recommended hook size. So for this flower here, I have used DK weight yarn uh, in yellow and brown. And with that, I have used a 4 mm crochet hook. Now apart from that, you would require a pair of scissors and a yarn needle to weave in the ends. So these are the few requirements. Now, if you're looking for some other crochet flower patterns, I will put a link in the description box for the flower patterns that I have done so far. So it is in a playlist. If you're interested, you can check that up as well. So let's see how to make this. So we'll start our pattern. And for this, we are going to start with a magic circle first. So to make a magic circle, you take your yarn and then loop it around your finger like an X. Once you have that, you can take this loop out. Now take your hook, pass your hook through this loop here and pull your working yarn through. Alright, so this here is your magic circle. Now if you want some more help with the magic circle, you can click on the link that is coming here. I have done a detailed tutorial on how to make a magic circle. So here I've got a magic circle. After this, I'm going to make two chain stitch. One, two. Now for round one, we are going to put 16 double crochet into the circle here. So we'll put our double crochets. So to make a double crochet, you yarn over first, insert your hook into the center of the circle and then pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook now. Yarn over, pull to the first two loop, then yarn over, pull to the next two loop. So this here is your first double crochet. Like this, you have to make a total of 16. So this is one, we'll make our second one. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. You have three loops, yarn over, pull to the first two, yarn over, pull to the next two. So this is my second double crochet. Like this, I'm going to make a total of 16 double crochet for round one. Now, if you want help with double crochets also, I have a full uh, beginner tutorial on how to do the basic stitches. I'll put the playlist link in the description box. If you need help, you can check that out. So anyway, for round one, I'll first finish 16 double crochet. So the round one, you are starting with chain two and then making 16 double crochet. So I'll finish this and I'll meet you at the end of round one. So here I have finished making 16 double crochet. Now, if you have any doubt, you can always count back. At least when you are a beginner, you should always count your stitches and confirm before moving forward. So I'll just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and then the starting chain 2. So here I've got my 16 double crochet. Once you have that, go into the first double crochet, not your chain 2, but your first double crochet, this one here and then slip stitch to join like this. So this finishes our round one. At this point, you can cut your yarn here. So leave a little bit of a tail end so as to weave, in, weave it in and then cut it here. Okay, so this finishes our round one. Now, this since this is a magic circle, you can just pull on this end and this circle will close. I'm not closing it completely at this point. Once the flower is completely done, we can close it. Otherwise, the stitches might get a little bit tighter when you're doing your round two. Anyway, we'll start our round two. So I'll take my yellow color yarn and I'm going to uh, join this at any other point other than where I have cut it because if you see, there are already two strands. So if you are going to join here again, it will become very bulky. So I like to join it at any other point. So you can use any stitch and then join with a slip stitch. So just attach your yellow color yarn here and I'll just make chain one so as to make sure that it is properly attached. Okay. 
now we'll start so this is the point where I have slip stitched it we'll work in the next stitch so for the next stitch we are starting with a double crochet so for double crochet yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two so this is a double crochet and here after you make a double crochet make a triple crochet so for a triple crochet you have to yarn over two times one two go into the same stitch where you made your double crochet so into the same stitch i'll go pull up a loop you have four loops yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two yarn over pull to the last two so this is a triple crochet so we have made a double crochet a triple crochet after this make two chain stitch one two and then we are going to make a slip stitch and the slip stitch will go on top of the triple crochet so here you have one two two chain stitches there just below it you have your triple crochet stitch here there i'm going to make a slip stitch so make a slip stitch so pull your hook through this loop as well as the last loop so that will make a slip stitch next what we'll do is we'll make a triple crochet in the same stitch so yarn over two times go into that same stitch pull up a loop yarn over pulls the first two yarn over pull to the next two yarn over pull to the last two so this is a triple crochet then we will make a double crochet yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the last two okay so this completes our double crochet after that go into the next stitch and make a slip stitch so into the next stitch i'm going and making a slip stitch okay so this completes one petal so one petal in one stitch you're going to do double crochet triple crochet then chain two and slip stitch the chain two and slip stitch actually is a pico stitch and then again come back and make a triple crochet and double crochet so this is how a petal is and into the next stitch we had made a slip stitch so we are going to do the exact same thing for the petal that we have done here in the next stitch so i have made a slip stitch i'll start the petal into the next stitch okay so we'll start with a double crochet so yarn over and make a double crochet so this is my double crochet once you have a double crochet make a triple crochet so for a triple crochet you have to yarn over two times insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two yarn over pull to the last two so this is your triple crochet after this we'll make a pico stitch and for a pico stitch you have to make two chain stitch one two then we will make a slip stitch onto the top of your triple crochet so here at this point below the chain two there is a stitch there i'm going to make a slip stitch so that will complete a small pico once you make that make a triple crochet followed by a double crochet so i'll make a triple crochet all in the same stitch okay so we are making the petal all in one stitch so here i've got a triple crochet next i'll make a double crochet all right so with this this completes our petal and in order to finish this go into the next stitch and make a slip stitch like this all right so this completes our second petal as well so like this you can complete it till you reach the end so i'll just start the next petal with you so this slip stitch is done we will find the next stitch and make the petal pattern so we'll start with a double crochet then a triple crochet then pico stitch then again a triple crochet and then a double crochet so i'll just finish that so here i have finished making the petals and i have a total of eight petals uh, and this was the very last petal so this is a triple crochet and the very last stitch is a double crochet now in order to finish this off you go into the very first stitch where you have joined your yellow color yarn go there into that stitch and make a slip stitch so go there and put a slip stitch in order to finish this off okay so this is it you can cut your yarn here so i'm just going to cut it here 
and I'll just pull my yarn out. Now all that is left is to weave in the ends. That's what we'll do. Okay. So we'll weave in the ends. For that, you might need a darning needle. And then we weave in the ends. Also, at this point, you can completely close your magic circle. So just tightly pull on this end, and you can see that the magic circle is completely closed. Okay. So now we'll weave in the ends. For that, I have already attached my darning needle. And then what you can do is you can go through a couple of stitches. So I like to go through the uh, stitches that has been made for the petals here. So you can go to go through two to three petals. And if you want, you can come back. Now, if you are planning to use this in any other projects to stitch this in, I'll say do not cut the yarn completely. You can use the same yarn to attach your work. I think two times is more than enough. If you are not very confident, you can go through a couple of stitches in the reverse direction as well. All right. So with that, this part is done. You can cut your yarn or just keep it there. Like that you can just weave in all the remaining ends i'll just cut everything and then show you so here i have weaved in all the loose ends and our flower is done so yeah that was the tutorial on how to do this crochet sunflower i hope the tutorial was useful and helpful for you now if you're looking for other uh, patterns especially flower patterns please do check the description box i have put a playlist of all the different patterns of uh, flower patterns i have done on this channel if you're interested you can just take a look on that as well now if you found this useful uh, please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing see you in the next video until then bye bye thank you for watching